Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I always wanted to create uh, my own blogging website uh, wherein, you know, I could share multiple articles related to AI, machine learning, interview experience, you know, and many more things, right? If I really want to make any announcement, it's not necessary to create every time a YouTube video regarding the same, but instead actually create a small article and give it to you so that you will be able to gain some amount of quick knowledge, you know, before you go for the interviews and all. So finally, yes, uh, again, instead of learning the entire JavaScript, HTML, CSS, you know, WordPress is always a way how we can quickly create it. And here you can see a small blogging website, uh, that I had actually created and you can also explore it. Just go to krishnag.in and you'll be able to see it. But today in this video, you know, I'll just talk about one challenge that I definitely faced while creating this. It's fine. I specifically used a theme uh, with the help of WordPress. If you do, just do drag and drop and just write the proper content, I think most of the uh, posts and the pages will actually get created. But the major part was something called as the page optimization, right? The entire website optimization, because if you are specifically using some themes, you know, you still need to optimize those with respect to CSS internally that are used, JavaScript that is basically used in this particular WordPress website. So that is where, you know, uh, I came up with this amazing uh, uh, tool, which is called as 10 Web Booster. And uh, if you're using this particular tool, trust me, automatically your website will get auto optimized. You know, it will make sure that your page speed score will also get increased. And today is what I'm actually going to show you about this amazing plugin that is 10 Web Booster, which I'm going to integrate along with my website blogging website so that I can show you the performance, how it changed. And this was literally amazing for me because I had to put a lot of efforts to optimize my entire website. Currently, I just want to show you over here, if I probably go with respect to page speed test, um, here you will be seeing that if I probably go and write my URL, that is krishnaik.in, here uh, you'll be able to see that in the mobile, right, core web vitals assessment is failed. There is larger content, full paint, first input delay. There are some of the attributes because of which the website is completely slow. And here also, if you probably go and see in the desktop, uh, already the message is showing that, oops, something went wrong. Now I'm just going to show you the magic, what happens as soon as I, and here, yes, you can see that the performance is 70%, right? And this is not that good. You know, we really need to come to this particular green area, right? Then only you'll be able to see uh, in an amazing way, all the website will be able to experience that blogging website. So what I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to install this plugin in my WordPress website, in this specific website, and let's see that how things goes ahead, you know, and then you'll be able to see once I do the page speed test, you'll be able to see how the performance will increase. And uh, probably if you are also wanted to create your quick uh, website or blogging website and as any such, you know, and as a creator, as a technical professional, you really have to do all these things. And even if you want to write vlogging, uh, you want to basically write different, different blogs, you can also use that specific thing. So first of all, I will just go to the plugins and uh, I will add a new plugin over here. So let's see. Uh, I'll just search for the plugin again. Remember the plugin name is nothing but 10 web booster. So here I will just go and search for it. 10 web booster. And once you do this, you will be able to see the plugin. Uh, yeah, so this is it. Uh, here you can see web types, uh, website speed optimization and performance. Just go and click on this. Uh, to start with, this is completely free. You can install and activate it. So once you install the plugin over here, now you can just see the magic what will happen. As soon as this plugin starts working on the website, right? it, it optimizes the entire page. And that is where we'll check with respect to page speed insights. So this is perfect. Now I'll just go and click on manage plugin just to see that all the settings have done. And probably I also have to do a sign up for this. So let's go ahead and sign up and connect. So I'll just go and click on sign up and commit. So yeah, uh, it's going to the sign up. I can basically start with Google. Uh, I'll just go and do the sign up with Google over here with one of my email address. Okay. And yeah, done. So I have logged in into this dashboard. Perfect. Now, uh, the optimization, let's see 
see the optimization has already started uh, with respect to my website. It's pretty much intuitive, you know, you'll be able to see how quickly uh, everything will happen. Your homepage is being optimized right now, analyzing current score, optimizing the front end, compressing the images, calculating the new score. So uh, this entire process has actually started and probably in a couple of minutes, this entire work will be almost done, right? And then the testing time is that we'll try to again go ahead and see in the space speed insights and see whether uh, any performance uh, improvement is there or not. So if you don't know about 10 Web Booster, it actually helps you to optimize your entire WordPress website, whether it is hosted in any kind of platform. And the final goal is that it'll try to make sure that your page speed score will be more than 90 plus. Along with that, it'll pass all the core web vitals and it will also make sure that it'll optimize your back. Along with that, uh, there are a lot of products with respect to 10 Web Booster, like AI Builders, uh, hosting, one-click migration, uh, page speed booster, uh, security, real-time backups, and website management. So you can definitely check it out. So guys, now once you finish optimizing your website uh, using the 10 Web Booster, all you have to do is that just go over here. And uh, if you go back to the plugins, right, and probably if you click on the install plugins, here you'll be able to see uh, the plugins that was installed, like uh, the 10 Web Booster. Now I'm going to go into that click on settings and again we'll try to see that how the performance of the pages have improved or not or like what is the increase in the performance when compared to the previous one now if i go and click on manage over here you'll be able to see that uh, you'll be shown a dashboard and here you can see that right how well the mobile score is now 91 and the desktop score is 100 right before it was somewhere around 70 right and you can also optimize five more pages over here you can just give the page link and just click on optimize you will be able to optimize that and you'll be able to get a very good score right now uh, the front end has been optimized over here but with the help of 10 web booster you can also optimize your back end and uh, for that you probably have to uh, you know take the booster pro uh, in the free plan, you'll be able to get six pages, home page plus another five pages. Along with that, you'll be able to get the front end optimization, like 90 plus uh, page speed score, improved core web vitals, image optimization, caching, auto optimization of images and custom optimization of rules. But if you upgrade to Booster Pro uh, plan, you'll also be able to do unlimited number of pages with respect to the front end. It will also help you to uh, optimize your back end part also. So yes, uh, definitely do check out 10 Web Booster. It's an amazing plugin to improve the uh, your entire WordPress website, to optimize it, to make it faster. And since this is a blogging website altogether, I really want to make this as faster. And definitely you all guys can also join this blogging website and basically create your own articles. And you can put that in your resume also and obviously mention that in your GitHub profile also, right? Whenever you're learning data science along with me. So uh, I hope you like this particular video. So please do check out 10 Web Booster. All the information regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video. Yes, this was it from my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Bye-bye.